Okay, so you've got on the fun, uh, foundation and achievements, so you are um, getting to a place of stability. You might be buying a new home, or you might be even moving home, but it is definitely a, a place where you are going to be pretty stable, uh, you know, and you're starting to um, enjoy, um, you know, uh, not so much of drama anymore. Um, so things are going to quiet down a little bit here with this and, and reach a, a point of stability. You've got this rainbow card, uh, rainbow in the card and a house. So it's talking about, uh, you know, having a happy home, but also getting through emotional problems and overcoming them and reaching, turning your back to things that were causing a lot of problems or drama for you and uh, getting some kind of stability. There's a fulfillment of wishes over here. So this is the nine of cups. So this is uh, reaching that emotional stability that you need or achieving happiness. Uh, this is uh, even a wish coming true for you. So things are going to be looking up. You've got this little chest over here that's got light coming up. So things that are going to bring you that emotional happiness is, you know, you're at the brink of that. You're ending off an old cycle uh, that was very unstable. Um, you know, where you were very unhappy and you're now, uh, you know, things are starting to change for you. So that Wheel of Fortune is turning. You've got the base chakra over here and it's, this is a card that tells you about grounding yourself. So you do need to ground yourself, um, you know, um, maybe do a little bit of meditation as well. Uh, but you need to find that stability and that is coming in for you. Now in the past, you've gone through the um, this is the Eight of Swords, almost trapped in fear card. So you have been feeling very unhappy, very miserable in that particular situation, as though you don't really know what to do and there, it doesn't seem to be any opening for you. Um, you've got the Material Harvest card over here. So all those financial problems or burdens that have left you trapped in fear, maybe you've been really anxious and worried about money issues, that cycle is now coming to an end with the Material Harvest which is like the Nine of Pentacles. Um, going into the future, you've got the emotional withdrawal. So this is turning your back on things that are not serving you and moving forward. And this is praying for things to come in, really. So you are moving away and you are making an effort to actually get away from situations that are no longer serving you. And you've got the Sacral Chakra over here that is talking about power coming back into you. So you are getting back that personal power that you have lost. Um, and it is coming to you. So you do need to ground yourself with the Space Chakra, you know, not being all over the place in how you're thinking. And don't get too emotional about things. Uh, look at the things that you have around you. Um, you know, it may be uh, taking on that attitude of gratitude might be... Um, important right now to count your blessings uh, in order for you to uh, get that stability that you need. So these are the energies for that week. So I'm using the Tarot of Ascension for the main read. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Queen of Cups over here, which is your card, really. And this is about, you know, feeling a bit lonely, feeling a bit depressed, feeling a bit down, uh, looking into your life and wondering whether or not, you know, you've made the right decisions about certain things, looking at the things that you've lost, really, because this woman is looking at this cup and generally, um, you know, uh, with the Queen of Cups, it's reviewing your life's decisions on an emotional basis and doing it from a very lonely perspective as well, crying a lot about it, looking at the past, thinking about the past, and maybe reminiscing too much of the, in the past, remaining there too much. So it is an energy that you do need to leave behind. You've got the Temperance card over here and the Devil. So you have been in a situation where you have been very manipulated, very bullied, uh, you know, where people have been taking advantage of you, making you do things. You might have been in a situation where there's been a lot of fights and arguments, um, you know, and uh, you can't, maybe that's why you've been feeling stuck, where you can't seem to get away from it. Now, you've got the Temperance card over here, and this is a healing card. And this is talking about in order for you to move away from things, you need to find your footing again, and you need to find that stability. And that is coming in from yourself. Uh, nobody else can give it to you. Uh, you need to walk away from things that are not serving you. You need to find 
that balance all over again. So if you're feeling very emotional, you need to bring in logic in order to balance that. Um, the Temperance card is about even physical healing. So if you're having any problems on a medical basis, uh, that is also uh, a time. This is a time period for you to actually take some time out to yourself in order for, in order for you to heal. So, um, you know, whoever is giving you uh, problems, you can see there's the end of the moon phase over here. The cycle is coming to an end. You need to let this person or the situation um, go. You need to get rid of it from your life. You need to cut it out from your life and find your balance again. So in the past, you've got the judgment card over here. So you've made some kind of decision in the past year uh, that you want, where you want to move on, or move away from things. You might have given up things, sacrificed things uh, in order for you to move away from a situation. You're thinking on a different level, uh, a new level, maybe a new pathway. Um, maybe what you did in the past is not what you're doing now. Maybe you're not where you were, um, you know, a year ago. So you have made a cons um, an effort to actually move away from it. And with the judgment card is really finding a different path um, in which uh, to proceed. And that seems to be have happened in this last year. You've got the four of cups over here. So it looks like there may have been people that have uh, made offers to you um, in some way and you haven't really wanted to accept it. So you want to choose a new path that is not uh, you know, what you've been doing in the past. People have been making you some kind of offer, uh, and it seems like, you know, with the Four of Cups, uh, it's not really accepting that offer because it is not serving you right now. So something is changing. There is a big change coming in, and you want to do something different. It seems like there's a transformation that is going on. You've got the Seven of Wands over here, and uh, this is about standing up for yourself and your own belief system. So you are taking control of the situation. It seems like you're getting rid of things that are not serving you, taking a new pathway, not accepting offers that people would think that you would accept. Uh, you know, you're, you're changing quite a bit over here. And you're doing a lot of thinking, and maybe you're really communicating with a lot of people, discussing your feelings. This also could be, a, um, you know, where you're doing a lot of learning. Uh, you know, you could be studying or doing something new that is bringing in these new ideas in order for you to change. And you are now vo uh, voicing your opinion with the seven of wands is actually telling people exactly what you want standing up for your own beliefs and not letting anybody take advantage of you you've got the seven of pentacles going to the future over here so there's something that you have been investing in that is not paid off so it seems like you're leaving it behind uh, it could be some kind of financial um, situation that you were in or it could be you know it could be a job something where you invested invested your time and effort and you have gotten no rewards and it looks like you're walking away it looks like you're, you might even be walking away from a person um, that um, has not given you what you wanted maybe this particular person you've got the devil over here has been very dominating very manipulative and you have making up your mind to actually leave it whatever you've invested you're leaving it behind it seems and you're walking away from that um, so what's happening with you? You've got the Knave of Chalices over here. So you've got a new cup. You've got a new idea, something new that you want to do. This could also be, if it's on the work front, it could be, you know, an offer to actually do um, further studies. This could be some kind of offer that comes in for you. Um, it could be an emotional offer as well. So maybe an invitation coming in for you to do something different. Um, and maybe this is what you've been waiting for. Uh, but it's definitely some kind of message that comes in that brings in a, a lot of hope for you, maybe even an apology coming in for you, if that is what is, you've been waiting for. Now you've got the two of wands over here, and this is making a decision about moving forward. And uh, this could be choosing, you know, reaching the, um, the fork in the road and choosing what to do next. You can see this man's looking to the future. You know, there are still clouds, there are still problems that he might have to face, but uh, he, he's very optimistic. Maybe you have been reviewing the past, and this is how you're making your decision about what you want to do in the future. You're, uh, you're starting to make plans. You could be even starting off a new journey with somebody as well. This could be a good friendship. It could be even a relationship um, where you start off with somebody uh, and that allows you to get your power back because the ones cards are always about power coming back into your hand again. So you've got the knave of wands over here. It looks like you are, you can see this man planning uh, to move forward. He's got this wand in his hand, which is his new idea, his new enterprise, and the road is open. So your pathway is clear for you to move forward. You're just worried about what the future brings. You are making plans for the future, and you definitely want to move. You're at a bit of a, you know, you're a bit stuck at the moment. You're thinking about what to do. So you are, um, you know, contemplating a lot right now. 
You know what has happened in the past. You know you want to move away from things that are not serving you, uh, even financially or you know whatever that situation is. But you're trying to make plans and you are worried about what it's going to bring. So you've got the Seven of Swords over here, the Six of Wands and the World Cards. The Seven of Swords here is dealing with people that are really deceptive, uh, people that are, you know, this is the card of deception with the Seven of Swords. Uh, but this is also a card about leaving things behind. Uh, if it is bringing too much of drama or too much of heartache, it's about leaving things behind and moving forward. Um, and if you're dealing with people that are, um, you know, liars or people that are not giving you the correct information um, it, you, it's it's also a card that counsels to be very wary about people stealing your ideas about theft and people deceiving you uh, you know maybe they don't mean to do it but they're sneaking around doing it behind your back so it's important for you to be aware that these things could be going on around you you've got the six of wands over here so if you know leaving behind difficult situations but with the six of wands it's also victory after going through a lot of problems, a lot of problems. So it looks like this man is running away from that situation. So, you know, with the Seven of Wands, it's also leaving behind difficult situations. And the Six of Wands is actually running towards victory. So it looks like, you know, um, a lot had to be sacrificed, but you are going to be victorious in this particular situation. And with the World Card, it's putting an end to things or ending a cycle uh, that has gone uh, you have come through a lot of difficulties and you can see as this, you know, you've, you've reached um, a new spiritual enlightenment. You've got this uh, almost like a guru card over here. You've gotten a lot of messages from the, um, you know, inspiration from the, the divine to help guide you. And, you know, you are now ready to reach that stability. Um, this is also, this could also be about travel. Um, you know, deciding to move away from situations. There's something that you can do uniquely uh, with this world card. It's you have a talent now. You have talents that are uniquely um, associated with you. What you have learned and what you've been through. Um, you know, what you're going to be putting back into the world is going to be something that is uh, really uh, very unique to you. And um, you know, it's going to bring a big, big change. So you have some kind of message that you have to deliver to the world, um, and it's uh, you know, it's. A message that has been learnt. All this information has been learnt by all this hardship and deceit and problems that you've been through. So it looks like you know you are moving on to something more positive. Uh, you're walking away from things, and you can see even this man is walking away from things that are not working out for him. You're choosing a new path with this two of wands over here, and you're leaving behind things. Even though you have invested a lot of time, a lot of energy, and a lot of effort, it looks like you're leaving it behind or deciding to leave it behind and move on. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Angel Tarot. And this is for the Oracle Read. So the first card is the Empress, which says, lavish abundance, give birth to your dreams, and nurture yourself and others. So it looks like you are going to be coming out of a very difficult situation. And with the Empress, which is the Queen of Queens, it's a card ruled by Venus. So it means that there are material wealth and comforts that are going to be coming your way. You've also got the Queen of Earth. So this is make time for those around you, take a sensible approach, deal with the challenges in, kind, in a kind and understanding ma manner. So the Queen of Earth is about getting on top of your finances and it's also being very, very independent and being able to manage your life the way you want it with nobody telling you what to do. And you've got the Knight of Water over here, which says falling in love, the need to balance your emotions and invitation to a social event. So there could be some kind of new relationship coming in for you, some kind of invitation or some kind of apology as well. Like I said, with this Knave of Chalices, it looks like there might be some kind of apology or some kind of invitation that comes in for you. So something that you've been waiting for is about to enter your life. You are at the brink of change over here, but you do need to stand up for yourself. And with the Seven of Wands, it looks like, you know, um, you are starting to discuss, maybe you're having discussions with friends about um, or people around you that are supporting you on how to move forward. But you are getting some new ideas and you are planning on making a fresh start and leaving things. You, you know, this is the devil card is all about that negativity, trying to leave it behind with this temperance card, balancing yourself and moving away from things that are not serving you anymore 
and ending old cycles, finishing off a phase and moving off and starting off something brand new. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.